invented this. We didn't invent it. Somebody else, I'm sure, has. But in February, we made it. And I said, you know what? We have to do this again when we have a barbecue. So we're going to make this for you guys. And I'm wondering if you guys can guess what we're going to be doing. But first, we have to make some bacon. So I've got my favorite all-time bacon in the entire world. I've got the hickory smoked thick cut farmland bacon. I like hickory smoked or applewood smoked bacon. Yes, I do. So we're going to open this up. We're going to line um, the pan full of bacon. But this bacon, do you have a plate, honey, that yeah. we can put the bacon on? We want to cut our bacon in half. Normally I fold my bacon. You guys aren't going to believe this. It's so good and so delicious. Ooh. My hands are, can my wrists, it? no, because my wrists aren't working good today. There you go. And Dad's the bacon guy. He's the one who normally does this, so. So what do we need to do? We just need to cut it in half and start With lining these? the pizza. Yep, lining the pieces on the on the paper. Let's do this much first. Okay. You can cut them and I'll put them on. How's that sound? Should I cut one at a time? Or? Well, can you cut can the I whole cut? thing? How oh, sharp are your try. scissors? I don't know. We can try. Do we yeah. have a good knife? A good sharp knife? Yeah. Cut it in half. What's the one I like? We cut it in half, maybe. We don't want to shortchange ourselves. Yep, perfect. Why don't you line this side okay. and I'll line this side. Okay. So We're just you, doing it like this, or which, how would you? I would go as close as you can to the end. Okay. And then you come down this line, and I'll go this way. Okay. So you guys just want to get your bacon going. See you when we're done with the bacon. Okay, so we're going to put it into a cold oven. We're going to set the oven, okay. please, at 400 degrees. If I remember how to use my oven. 400? Yep, 400. And then we're going to put the bacon in to cook. It's a, what is the 100? Is that because That's it's, it's oh, okay. So we want to set the timer for, let's set it for 30 minutes. You want your bacon crisp, not limp, and you want it cooked all the way through. So, you guys, Bacon's in the oven. We'll come back when it's time to pull it out. Let me see the bacon. Do I need to bring it out? Yep. Okay. Bacon should come out. Put it there because we're going to have to. So you want your bacon crispy but not burnt. Oh yeah, that looks good. Try not to drip the... Yep. And then do you have tongs? Yeah, I have all kinds of tongs. Okay. So you just want to make sure you take your bacon out. It's firm. And then you want it to get the grease off. I like these little tongs. Those are cute. Where'd you get these, chow? All over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Target probably. The one thing you want to do is make sure that they get dry. And that the grease gets soaked up. And it's good to use the thick bacon, you have to make sure. Yes, you, you have to the use bacon. the thick bacon, not the thin cut bacon. It has to be the thick cut, you guys. You'll find out shortly. Yes, you'll see why you need the thick cut. It needs to stand up to some weight and stay in one piece. Ooh, Harry's mad at me, thinks I'm giving it away. Not. Then take this out just like that and put it in the freezer. This goes in the freezer for, for like 10, 10 minutes. minutes. I don't know if I have room in this freezer. I might have to take it to the back. back. Definitely not. <laughs> no, that just happens. Will it go up on top of the ice? No, it won't go on the ice maker. Take it out. Do you have a flat spot outside? Yeah. All right, so. Chelly has a big freezer outside, and let me set timer 10 minutes. There. I got the timer going. 
But you guys are wondering what the heck we're doing with all the bacon. You'll see. You'll find out in just a minute. Is that good? Yep. It's good. I'm going to just get this out of the way so where it goes. Okay, you guys, this was in the oven. I mean, this we took this to Chalice's Deep Freeze for how long, honey? Uh, like 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay, can I give you these? Yeah. So they are just nice and firm. We're just transferring to a cookie sheet. <gasps> Mine! Score. Sorry. She she I'm the cheats. cook. I'm the cook. I'm the cook. Oops. Come what, here, you puppy. What is she? The, She's the sous chef. I'm the sous chef. No, She's the right. sous chef. Well, you get to be that now. Okay. Just Good for, for today. You. You Just can for have today. It. You're relinquishing your hat, Harry? Yeah. Your sous chef hat? No problem. Do you... Aren't we going to... We're going to... Yes. Are we going to put them back on here? Yes. Okay. I knew what you were thinking. Yes, we are. Isn't this funny? One half of the bacon had more fat on it than the other half. Just as long as they all fit on here. And with a little bit of splash room. Oh, did I say splash? Yes, I did. And why do you say that? Well, because. She can't. <laughs> What? They're going to know eventually. Yes, they are. They're going to know the next step. Next, you guys. Okay, here we go, Chow. Okay. okay, you guys. It's time for the reveal. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We have to do the next part. Is it all ready to go? Yes. We're going to share. What? It's all ready to be. No, we have to show how to make it. Okay, you guys are going to need two things. This is optional. Peanut butter is optional. <coughs> Peanut butter is optional. And you're going to need some chocolate. You can use lilies. You can use your favorite uh, non-sugar. Sugarless. We are using a skinny me Belgian creamy milk chocolate. Yes, That's we are. My favorite. Now you guys want to know what bacon, peanut butter, and chocolate have in common? Deliciousness. We're gonna marry them all together and they are the most delicious bacon chocolate bars you've ever had on planet. Let me tell you. They are absolutely yum dilly umptious. Now, oh, there are so it. many things you can do. And I was thinking, why don't we smear some peanut butter? Just a little bit, just a little bit. If you like peanut butter or you like almonds, chalice is, we're going to multitask carry, so you have to get us both. Okay. Chalice, we're going to heat. Look at this beautiful chocolate. We're going to heat that up. How many of these should we do chalice with the peanut butter? What like do you think? a row. Okay, so. How many bars to how many? Okay, the last time we did it, we had we did two bars. Right, we're gonna do three. But we're we gonna have more. do three. Yes. Because do you want it? I want to put it on okay. here and then dip. Do you it. want me to do two bars and then if we need? No, I think you should do, do three, three because okay. we have more bacon this time. So, okay. look at that's about a teaspoon of. Peanut butter. Not this even. is only for the people that want peanut butter. You don't have to do peanut butter. Just put a nice little bit of peanut butter Schmier. on. A smear. Schmier. Just a smear of peanut Schmier. butter on your bacon. This is for what, you who you? all want, the, you know those uh, thick, thick. Quest thick bacon. peanut butter cups, those Lily peanut butter cups. If you like those and you like bacon, 
then you're gonna well, love you gotta have the thick bacon for these. That's why you have bacon. to have the thick what bacon. Do this for like it wasn't seconds. hardly, it wasn't yeah. Hardly it wasn't, any. and do you have a spoon to stir it? Yeah, I will. You guys, I'm telling you, these are the best, bar none. If you like white chocolate, if you like dark chocolate, get the chocolate style that works best for you. You could dip half white, half dark. You know, you could squiggle white across this. You could get um, almond butter instead of peanut butter. Make these bacon bars. You better do a couple more. Part of these have just a, not even a, a teaspoon, just a little bit of peanut butter. Just a schmear. Just a schmear. Next, chalice is melting. You want to just melt it. Can you show dad? We put a tablespoon of butter in because it helps. Um, it helps with the smoothness yeah. and the, the shine. I'm gonna have to put it back in. Yeah, just put it back minutes. in just to get it. A couple, oh. Just a couple seconds. Yep. So good. <laughs> it is. It is so good. And we'll share with you, this is the skinny me. So you see, we just have a little smearing of the peanut butter, you guys. Just a little bit. But if you don't like peanut butter, you could use cashew butter. You could use almond butter. You could use any of the butter of your choice. Or you can eat it just plain with the chocolate. That's how I like it. Yeah. Oh, so good. So good. And then we have to work fast. Okay, yeah, here's your glove. Here's your glove. Do you want the spoon or do you want, what do you want? Oh, no, I see. Wait a minute. I think we're going to have to... I'm going to take these off real mm -hmm. fast because they're going to rip these gloves. No, I think that's good. What did this plate have on it? Just the bacon, so we the can bacon, just put this yeah. on there. So that's fine. Okay, you guys. Then what you do is you take yours and you dip it into the chocolate. And you put it back on. How many are you going to do peanut butter? Oh, I got eight. Eight. We did eight peanut butter. So how are you going to know which ones are peanut butter? And which They're going to be on that side. They're going to be on that side. What I would also do is just get some white peanut butter and you could make a swirly on them for one. You could make, you know, uh, have some crushed peanuts and put over the top. Almonds. Can you get that, Charlie? Take the bacon. Yep. Go. Oops. That's where it gets a little messy. That's why we're using gloves. Gloves. Why we're using, um, you want to do some too? You can do the non one. You're doing or, good. Am I doing good? <laughs> I'm, kind of taking, I'm kind of taking over That's here. That's okay. She's, this is the messy part. I don't like the messy part. Yeah, you don't like doing this part. If we need more chocolate, I have more yeah. too. Yeah, and we brought plenty of chocolate. But this tastes so good. And you guys, what was getting me, I think we were talking about Voodoo Donuts. Amy, you're going to appreciate this. Voodoo Donuts in downtown Seattle had, they made the bacon, um, what was the? Um, bacon maple donut. Let's bacon maple, oh, Let's I'm sorry. So we know it's okay. peanut butter. Yep, that makes sense. This will go a little faster. I'll just use that chocolate. Okay. We were thinking about that, and then I said, you know what? We've got bacon. And We've chocolate. got chocolate, chalice. And we were like, oh, yeah, and Dad's guy, what are you guys doing? And we were in there just making this away, huh? It was so good. Oh, God, you guys cannot believe how delicious. So you make this for enough. Easter. What do you mean we didn't make enough? Yeah, you just didn't make enough. Dude, it's a treat. It's a treat. It's not a meal. That's right. Well, that's up to you. You might think that. <laughs> I don't think that. Once these are all done, you can either refrigerate them or you can no freezer, huh? just freeze them for a little bit and then store them in the refrigerator because you don't want them to melt. But oh my gosh, you guys could um, put squiggles on them. You could do white. You could, you do, could so do the stuff. caramel. Any of the lily flavored ones that you guys can get. But trust me, with the bacon, you're getting the bacon, salty, greasy, deliciousness of the bacon. 
you're getting the best of both worlds because I'm telling you, you guys, this is so delicious. Oh my gosh. Everybody loves it, even Dave. Everybody loves this. We have never had anybody say, oh my gosh, I don't like that. You just say, do you like bacon? They say, sure, I love bacon. Do you, like, bacon. Do you yeah. like chocolate? Yes, I do. Well, here, have a taste of this little bar I made. And oh my gosh, people's faces light up. That's going to probably be perfect. It is. Just got to get it, get it in the chocolate. Yeah. Get in the chocolate. It's nice having gloves on. Getting down to the wire. Here, do you want me to? Oops, Oops I'm sorry, honey. Okay. Sorry. Yep. Boy, just enough. So three bars of chocolate to how many count those out? Um, I have 10. Oh, okay. Was it 10 20? Full strips. Strips cut into halves. And they can't hear me, so you got to speak. Oh, okay. 10. It's, it's 10 full strips cut into halves, so it makes 20 pieces. Yes. And these are thick, rich, and delicious, okay? Let me tell you. Make these for Super Bowl for dessert for those boys watching the game and ladies watching the game. Trust me, they're going to love it. Yes. And see, if you had um, some white chocolate, you could like drizzle across the top of these. I just want to make sure I have all the oh, little... Oh, yeah, you could put like drizzles like real big. Yeah, yeah. Yep, you could drizzle it yeah. or just do this. You know, yeah. and that way you could tell what kind was which. You see, you these are all the peanut butter ones. Okay, the peanut one's got a little spot showing. So now what do you do? Put in the fridge? Put the them freezer. in the freezer, freezer. for, for like about 15 minutes. Yep. Okay, you guys. Oh, look at them. They're so beautiful. Right. I'm telling you, you guys. Oh, this is the one with the peanut butter yeah. because of the long thing there. Okay. These are all peanut butter. Okay. Those are, it's important to know. Before I lick the bowl. No, go ahead. You sure? Yeah. I'm going to turn this on for 15. Okay. Mm. Here we, okay. Yeah. So let me share with you. Or Chalice, can you do it? What? Share the, oh, yeah. the ingredients and yeah. the stuff. Pull, you have to pull it because you can't see it very good. We get these at our Bashes store. We, I haven't seen them anywhere else, but they have stevia. They've, they've got really good, I think they have a little erythritol, but if you look at the carbs, they're five yeah, carbs yeah. and 50 calories per square, but the dietary fiber and the erythritol are five, so they're zero net carbs per square. But you guys remember, it does have erythritol in it, so you don't want to overdose or you're going to be tooting and potent all night long. We used a total of three, you guys, and these are three ounces. So we used a total of nine ounces for 20 slices of bacon. Ten, Ten slices, slices of, bacon. of bacon. Ten slices of bacon. Cut in half. Yep, cut in half. It's best if you cut them in half because um, they do get heavy and you don't want them to break. So half of a piece, you could do like, you know, peanut butter, put some peanuts on it. You could do put coconut, shredded coconut on it. The sky is the limit, but the, the trick is, is when somebody bites into that and they taste the bacon. Oh yeah. yeah. It's that saltiness, it's that deliciousness. So you guys, we'll come back for the taste test. They're the best part. Yes, the best part. <laughs> you know it. Okay, you guys, chalice, well, they were in 15 minutes in yep. the freezer, and she's just taking the, we're, we're doing two plates, one with peanut butter, one without. Here, no, you want to crunch them, you want to pull them so people can, yeah. God, it's like being back home, huh, chalice? <laughs> Brings back old memories. It's okay. Good ones, though. Baking cookies, doing all the good stuff. See how nice that is, you guys. Look at that, look at that. The secret is the bacon inside. Good, huh? It's like bacon toffee inside. It's, oh, it's crunchy. It's gooey. It's delicious. 
Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Well, I'm glad good. you're eating it. I'm gonna. No kidding, <laughs> right? What do you think? Mm. Hair herring. Peanut butter you, one's over here. Peanut butter's over here. Have a napkin ready though, you guys. These ones are all together. Take, so. take one, Dave. Mm. Thank you. Oh man. These ones delicious. Stuck together. And they stuck together. I gotta try a peanut butter. We're all gonna try a peanut butter one together. Dave doesn't want to be on camera, and that's fine. Well, he'll crack my limbs if we want to come on. Dave shot. I got over enthusiastic on the uh, chocolate. On chocolate. These. This would be something kids could get involved in, even helping make. I think you know yeah. something fun. Dip the bacon. The secret is to keep them from touching. Huh? No, not it's really, not that because it's not that big of a deal. It just lends to. Okay, hey, everybody grab a peanut butter one. Okay. Those are all peanut butter, right? Those are peanut butter, Harry. Don't eat it yet. We're gonna all dick them in the middle. What kind of peanut butter? Out, uh, healthy. Just peanut butter and salt. Here, oh, just here. don't eat salt. it. Put it in the middle. Come on, let's go. Okay, cheers. one, two, three, cheers. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. And Dave's like, mmm. Chalice is allergic to wow. peanut butter, so No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll oh, get one more. my we'll God, you guys. Tastes good. You guys, it's so good. I'm telling you. Oh, man. It is so good. Peanut butter is the way to go. Great mm -hmm. tastes like homemade peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. And that bacon it's gets crunchy, crunchy and, and like it's got toffee or something mm -hmm. and salty. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good. Isn't it? Yep. I ate mine already. So, what do you, so you guys, I call it chocolate covered bacon. Well, you got peanut butter in them too. It's a chocolate covered peanut butter bar. That's what I call it with bacon. So freaking good. It's oh so good. God. Mm. I'm curious to know how many of you are going to run out tonight and go to the store. You guys, you I want you to leave me a comment below. Show us your pictures. Show me your pictures. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pictures. You guys, post them on Facebook. If you guys are new here, we have a free Facebook group. It's called Loving It on Keto with Wendy Fans. Harry will link it right below. Go there, make this, and post it. Tell me what you guys have done. <laughs> I want to see pictures. I want to see pictures. Karen, I know bakers. Karen, Shelly, you guys can make these look beautiful. Oh, yeah. Make I'm telling like you, Karen, bacon. if Paul likes bacon and he likes chocolate, you got to make these for him. Mm. I would dip them half and half, but make them, you know, white and ch dark chocolate. Put some sea salt crystals on top for some of them. I'm oh, telling yeah. you, these are fantastic. So yep. good. So good. Anyway, you guys, that's it for today. That's the surprise. That's, this was the surprise. Sorry it's a day late, but you guys, it is so worth it. Oh, yeah. If you guys like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you guys get a notification that our video is uploaded. And you guys, please give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you right here, not here, at my house. Unless we figure something else out to make <laughs> tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Mm, so good.